Oh, look at that. At the end of my last video, I pulled into the Nomad Dispersed Camping Area near Wall, South Dakota, and right on the very edge of the Badlands. This morning, I'm heading out to Badlands National Park. Contrary to the way it looks, the road really isn't all that smooth and the campsite's not that level, but the view is fantastic. And luckily enough, you're literally about five minutes from the Pinnacles entrance to Badlands National Park. All right, I didn't get a picture of the entrance sign, but hey, we had a bison as a welcoming party. Our goal today is to hike the Sage Creek Loop Trail about four plus miles. But before that, we made a quick stop, got our first real look at the Badlands and more wildlife. The mule deer were abundant and were not particularly concerned about us either. Apparently we got up earlier than the prairie dogs because prairie dog town was completely empty. On our way to the Sage Creek Loop Trail, there were bison and antelope aplenty this early in the morning. Hi, we're just starting the Sage Creek Trail. This is awesome. Check this freaking place out. So Sage Creek is a four mile loop trail. You walk down to the floor of the valley, you explore the creek bed area, and then you walk back up. You've got a 442 foot elevation gain back to the top of the bluff, all of which comes at the very end. So this really isn't much of a trail. We're following all trails. If we didn't have all trails, I probably would say this isn't a trail, but uh, the truth is, I can still see the truck, so I'm not lost. But it's beautiful out here for sure. All right, you probably can't see it on this camera. But there is a coyote standing right in the middle of our trail. Here at these bluffs, feels like the Badlands, but I'll tell you what, the All Trails Trail is uh, a little questionable, but the good news is that no matter where I am, I can see the uh, truck, so I can always get back. You can't get lost here, and that's a good thing. At this point, we had reached the bluffs and it was time to head back. The temperature was starting to rise. It was supposed to get in the 90s today, so a couple of river crossings, over the flat land and then up the hill at the end and we were back at the car and ready to explore the Badlands, but this time by car for a little bit to cool off.
Even though it was early September, the temperatures were expected to hit about 100, so we decided to stop in the Ben Raphael Visitor Center just to cool off and see what they had. It was a pretty cool thing, and I would suggest that if you stop at the Badlands National Park, you stop at the Ben Raphael Visitor Center as well. If you do that, you can learn both the geologic and the human history of the Badlands area. You know, I guess if you go to the Badlands in Wall, South Dakota, you have to go to Wall Drugstore. I don't know what to say about this place. I'm not going to do an entire video on it. There are probably hundreds of them out there. So I would say just go, see what you think. But in reality, I had a really good reason to go here. So I think I'm the only person at Wall Drug to ever actually buy something from the drugstore. Icy hot, because I did something to one of my muscles in my neck and it is freaking killing me. Even though the night was hot because my generator broke down and my shoulder was still killing me because it ended up being a pinched nerve, we went back to the northeast entrance to do some hiking. Okay, we're back in the Badlands. This morning we're gonna do the window and the door trail. These are uh, pretty short trails. Don't even need a backpack or water or anything. It's early in the morning. So let's check them out. The first trail we're doing is the door trail. It's short, 0.9 miles. I think it starts out on a boardwalk but ultimately, looks like you're in a different world. Your big ears for a little bunny. So these badlands, like all others, were formed by two major forces. The first is disposition, and that's a process where soil and rocks and sand and other things are gradually built up over time due to a variety of forces like inland seas and uh, sea animals dying and building up on one another and then maybe those uh, dry up and you have riverbeds and wind deposits soil from other areas and then that all goes on for you know millions of years and then after that the opposite happens and that's called erosion where all that stuff is just worn away by wind and water. And that's essentially the process that is happening now. The badlands we see today are the result of the erosion process. As soon as you step off the boardwalk here, you feel like you are in a totally different world. Pretty cool hike out here. Yeah, good thing they got this marked though. Unlike the uh, Sage Creek Trail, which was hardly marked, this one is marked pretty well. End of the trail, beautiful. The window trail and the notch trail are accessible from the same parking lot that the door trail is. We decided to do the notch trail. It was only one and a half miles, but I will tell you that it turned out to be a little bit more challenging than we might first have thought. half mile in you come to the rope ladder with wooden steps it's pretty cool some folks had some challenges but we didn't find it too difficult At 
first I thought the trail might have ended there, but then realized it follows the ridge of that ravine. go you got it yep perfect so this is a pretty cool trail so far a little bit more difficult than I thought but not long mile and a half round trip uh, but if you get knee problems significant knee problems or weak ankles meh, maybe not for you this, this is the Badlands my friend bad land Oh yeah, end of the notch trail, now we gotta go back. Not sure if you can see this on the camera, but the rock actually has a green tint to it. Not sure what that is. It almost looks like mint. In a line. Isn't that interesting? We followed some French hikers up another incline and were rewarded with a spectacular, if not somewhat scary view. So we are taking the path less traveled because I think we can walk right down this little riverbed. But, uh, no, no go. So we're leaving the Nomad Dispersed Camping Area in Wall, South Dakota. Leaving a day early. Um, it's both one of the coolest places and not without its challenges, uh, especially when it's 100 degrees and your uh, generator fails you. And so you have to sleep in the hot weather, although it did get cool at night. And so that was helpful. But it's hot, it's dusty, I'm ready to move on. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Join me on my next adventure when we visit Custer State Park. Until then, carry on, cheers. <laughs>